first of all, thank you very much also and a very warm welcome from my side. Uh, my name is Roland Meyer. I'm one of the managing partners of the Privy Technologies Group. Within Privy Technologies, we are working very much on uh, creating and offering new services for uh, asset management uh, uh, participants, where in many cases, the asset managers are looking for new trends, for new chances and opportunities to construct portfolios. And based on this patent uh, technology, which uh, Andreas described before, uh, there was also created uh, a patent performer index. I have now on the screen um, this uh, index with uh, major uh, participants and major constituents from the German market. And there, for example, you see immediately that uh, uh, this index uh, where um, many of the companies, I come later to that, um, have been doing quite a good performance. And then in the end, due to these uh, activities, um, this index also could be, um, could be um, productized by um, making a kind of a basket out of that or making, uh, structuring it in, turn, in kind of notes or even in mutual funds way. Here you see now one uh, extract of the holdings of this uh, patent, German, patent performer German index, um, where you see uh, there is quite a, a well-known companies uh, here, like Adidas or uh, the Deutsche Lufthansa, but also let's say more the younger companies like an Evotech or um, uh, like Morphosis. Here, the idea behind is always that how can normal investors uh, also take advantage out of this uh, structure where evaluation of patent and IP, which is uh, hold, held by certain companies, can be transferred into tradable products. And um, uh, on this asset management level, um, there is always in the end two uh, possibilities depending on the volume which investors want to invest here. Uh, one possibility is always to just buy exactly these kind of equities which have been part in this valuation principles based on the patent uh, valuation or to motivate uh, financial institutions like asset managers, fund uh, companies, or other investment banks um, to create certain customized products based on the selection the single asset manager can do. And this selection can, on the one hand side, be a kind of a proprietary selections where the asset managers anyway already have their kind of views on single equity investments, but it also can be added by uh, having a more close, uh, closer look to these uh, uh, strategies where the patent valuation and the, the patent strengths, patent and IP strengths, uh, which are based within this, within these uh, um, um, uh, baskets. Um, this is, um, we have now seen uh, until now the German patent index. Here is now a different one which was created during the project in the last uh, months uh, based on a world patent list. Uh, therefore, you here see only a history from starting from beginning of March 2019 until yesterday. Um, and there you also see that uh, in the end the um, performance is um, due to the short period, uh, not that uh, big right now, but even for an own equity basket, we have to admit that especially volatility is much lower than a normal equity basket's volatility would be. That we also see with, uh, for example, the German uh, only index, where you have a much lower volatility than it would be, for example, compared with the normal tax volatility. If we go here now, you also see here from on the World Patent Index, you of course see more the 
worldwide and global active companies like uh, Qualcomm, like uh, Toshiba, or even uh, companies like L'Oreal or uh, uh, Japan Tobacco. Um, I think the, the short summary in a nutshell is always um, how can we, and this was also one of the goals within the project, how can we make this of findings and these results of the core patents project available to a broader audience, mainly to the investors who really believe that companies with a higher uh, a ratio of uh, patent and IP rights in their uh, assets, how uh, investors can also take advantage out of this higher valuation on the patents level. To uh, come back potentially shortly to this uh, German index. Um, if, we, if you see here a closer um, uh, look, you see also on the risk figures, especially volatility and sharp ratio, uh, especially from three years performance on, but also you will see in the live system, you also can see then risk figures for five and even longer periods as this index was created initially in September 2012 that on the one hand side, the return figures are completely comparable with the typical equities market. In the five years period, it's even much better than compared by the DAX. And uh, on the volatility level, we always see that uh, even these companies are less volatile than potentially the more trendy companies which have not been evaluated on the IP level. If you want to see some uh, demo presentations for how this could look like in the live system for asset management uh, users, then um, we are more than prepared to make some live demos. Um, for now, I would like to stop my presentation here and um, um, would be glad to answer uh, upcoming questions either via email or just via contact via the Cora Patents website. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roland. Thank you, Andreas. And thanks, everybody, for uh, listening and attending this webinar. So if you have any further questions, you'll find um, our contact details on our web page that I indicated further uh, earlier. So thanks again, and goodbye, everybody.